Good morning. How you doing? Say hi to my GoPro. Hey, GoPro. What's up? Hey, let me get my bandana first, man. <laughs> I don't want people to see me without my bandana. Hell yeah, put that thing on. A bandana, <laughs> just instantly, like, you feel like 10% more of a badass with a bandana on. We're going to start with a little jump rope action to warm things up. Oh, look at Mark. Let's go. All right, let's do it, bro. Just a couple minutes on the jump rope, warming, warming it up. So Mark actually purchased this jump rope for me. And it's one of the nicest jump ropes that I, I've ever used. Although I haven't used that many. I like the feel of this one. How you feeling, Mark? Good. All right, let's put that jump rope down for a couple minutes. And let's reach up to the stars. Big inhale, up on the toes. On your next exhale, forward fold all the way down. Let's be conscientious of our breath this whole workout. Let's keep things flowing. There will be no breath holding. All right, rise up to the top again. Big inhale up on the toes. And exhale, forward fold all the way down. Grab the back of your ankle. side plank right now you can um, do this on your elbow if you would like you can, modif you can always modify so here's the elbow version so I have my right elbow stacked right below my right shoulder and if you want a higher degree of intensity you can reach up with your other arm, reach high and breathe. You can even bring one leg up if you'd like. Woo. That's, a, that's a tester. And let's go to the other side.
and back to a prone, pr prone plank, prone position. A little forward and aft movement. And let's push ourselves back into child's pose. Try to get your buttocks close to your heels. So just push back. Arms should be stretched long. And breathing. Good. Come out of that slowly. And let's do our first cobra pose. Your legs should be together behind you. Arms slightly bent, shoulders pushed back. Don't be tense like this, keep them back. And push back into child's pose. All right, Mark, let's go into our tabletop position. So our hands are directly below our shoulders. And try to get your knees below your hips. Back should be flat. And then let's move in and out of cat. My camera, for some reason, went out. Don't, don't know how much of that workout I missed. <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine. It was so good. It was so good. I was feeling so good about it. I don't know, I don't know why my camera is having issues. All right, I need to go back to my, my runner's lunge right side. All right, let's keep the right hand beside the right foot, on the right side of the right foot, and reach high with the left arm. Again, you can modify this by putting your knee down. Okay, let's bring both hands back to on each side of the foot. And let's slowly rise up with the arms high directly above your head. You can also bring them to the side if you wish. Smooth, flowing breath here. Arms back down on each side of the foot. And we're gonna bring the leg back, the right leg back, while keeping our left foot the way it is. We're gonna come into a three-point leg position. So the leg rises high. You can bend your knee if you wish your right knee to come in here. Open up your hip a little bit. This is great. Keep opening. Try to push back into the heel of your left foot. Push all the way to the other shoulder. And let's go ahead and bring knee to nose. Right knee to nose. And squeeze. Back. Ready a little higher this time to that right foot. And again, knee to nose. And With the left hand beside on the left side of the left foot, let's reach out with the right arm. And bring both hands on your second foot. 
And let's keep our right foot planted. And we're going to bring our left leg back and high. Let's bring it back down. Press the arms firmly. And let's go left knee to nose. And squeeze. Keep it there for a few seconds. And Knee to nose, and squeeze and hold, and back up. Now what we're going to do is flip our dog. So check this out, Mark. Then we go in like this, and I'm going like this. So my right hand is directly below my right shoulder. And if you if you can't use two hand if you can't use one hand here two hands are fine and push those hips up get them up so for you guys on YouTube you can use two hands and push the hips up holding here you can sway a little bit from side to side. You can also move forward and half a little bit if you want. Press up and go. Back to a plank position. And on the next inhale, let's jump to a yoga squat. Yogi squat, I should say. Hands in prayer position. Say a prayer for everyone for this whole coronavirus. Let's press the legs out wide with your elbows and try to get your torso as vertical as you can and just kind of sit into it. Get your buttocks really close to the ground. And let's rise up tall. Big inhale up at the top and down into a yogi squat. Let's let the hands fall to the floor. And now let's jump back into a plank position. Good. And now let's go back and forth, jumping back and forth. Plank, yogi squat, 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 plank, yogi squat. squat. Alright, let's grab that jump rope. How you feeling, Mark? I'm good. Good. Those were better than uh, before. All right, let's go. Jump it. push-ups once again let's make them count let's do let's utilize excellent form all the way down all the way up squeezing that chest tricep relax all the way up I lost count of how many I did, that's fine. 
Come back into your plank position. And let's go back and forth between plank and yogi squat. Come on. These are definitely harder. Get your heart rate gets up. Woo. Breathe through it. Take a little 30 second breather. Go into child pose if you wish. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Woo! I could spend a day in child pose. <laughs> All right, so we are going to thread our right arm underneath our body and the left arm should be reaching straight and try to come up on the top of your right shoulder and get a great shoulder stretch twisting your upper body to the left looking up at the ceiling or up at the sky, you could be outside enjoying the weather in your area. And for you yogis out there, this is a fun one to do. As I modify, oops, see if I can do it. Uh, I'm not looking very graceful, but This is not only awesome for your shoulder, woo, but your core. All right, I'll come back and let's do the other side. You can come. So with my right hand, I'm gonna go instead of straight, I'm gonna try to come more across my body. Side of your body. 
parallel to the ground if you want. It's fine if you go down. It's fine if you have it lower. Or maybe a little higher. And then let's bring it over to the other side of your body. Here's one you can do. You let your right knee come just a, a little bit and inside of the left knee. All right, you see the position I'm in, Mark? Yeah. And then reach with your left arm. Nice. How does that feel? Crazy. Yeah, crazy good. Yeah, and let's go ahead and do the other side. Go back to the other side. Let's get that same same move. Turn over here. Left knee as close as you can to your right knee, and then twist. I'm making it rain this morning. Yeah. yeah, lots of uh, sweat on my, on my yoga mat. All right, let's go on. What should we do next? Have all this stuff. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest we get a balance trainer. If you don't have a balance trainer, this is a Bosu ball. There's an endo board, but you can also use the floor. Okay, watch. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna roll an ankle. Okay. Slowly but surely, step on your balance trainer or you can keep on the floor as you wish. So if, when I use the balance trainer, my first step is in the middle of the balance trainer with one foot and the other foot goes and then I kind of scooch my legs shoulder width spread all right and let's bring the weights up one on each side of your shoulder and let's utilize really good form here let's try to keep our torso vertical let's try to keep our knees the same distance apart all the way through the motion and let's go down to a squat smooth and come up and press Press all the way up and back down. Sweet, steady, flowing breath. Into the squat, come up, one arm at a time. Again, when you're on this balance trainer, it really tests your core strength as much as the muscle groups that you're working on. So let's grab those weights again. This time we're gonna do some curls. I'm gonna do about 10 on my left foot, and then I'm gonna switch to 10 
my right foot. Smooth and steady. A little external rotation. Squeeze that bicep head. Your knee should be at 90 degrees. Again, feel free to do this on the floor. Try to keep your upper body as still as possible. Stay up, just have your hips over your feet. Try to be at the ball of your supported foot. That might help you. Sometimes you can get a little heel heavy if your hips shift back. So stand tall, curl up. Boom. Ba -ba -ba Boom. And I'm going to switch my foot and go right back into curling. Speaking of curling, Mark, what are your thoughts? Is curling a legitimate Olympic sport? And oh, have yeah. you ever so curled legit. before? It's so legit. Oh, you gotta remember where I live. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Across the river, man. It's Canada. Hey. It's, the only place. it's the only place where Canada is south of the United States. Again, if you want, you can go from here to back into those presses, one arm at a time. exercises. I'll do a handstand. I'll do some form of balance training. So if you want to go up on one leg, reach for the start of the one arm. You can do balance like this. You can do a handstand. Whatever floats your boat, really.
do that. Just two legs. Uh. All right. Well, we're on schedule for probably a 650 active calorie burn. Maybe even 700, depending on how far we go. Oh. Here's one that I like to do. Let's take both hands behind your back, your low back. Yep. And let's flare out the chest. Push your hands down, shoulders are back and relaxed, okay? Now, we're going to slowly lean back. Try not to drop your head too far behind your torso. I try to keep it somewhat neutral. Inhale, come all the way up. Reach for the stars, up on your toes. And forward fold all the way down. All right. Let's do some uh, ballerina moves now. So, this is great for balance and core. So you can do these on the ground or on the balance trainer. I'm not saying that, but it's true. Alright. So let's start on your left foot. Yeah. And let's lift our right foot parallel to the ground. If you can't do parallel, a little bit lower is fine. Like that 90, if you can, I'm trying to keep my weight up over the ball of my foot. It's hard. It's really hard. Kick out the foot. Kick it out. And let's slowly lower the leg down a little bit. And let's adjust on the right foot. Make our adjustment. Get 90. Arms are down by our side. We're standing tall. And let's let the left leg go. your foot here that's fine or arm here that's fine or for more intensity more stretch kick 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 kick, kick. reaching forward you breathe the leg up as high as you wish finding a spot on the floor that I'm looking at staying focused I'm breathing slowly come out of that. Let's kick out the legs. All right, right foot goes down. Okay. 
grab the inside of my left foot. And standing tall, kicking into the foot. And we're going to keep All right, so I ordered these bands off, off of Amazon. The name of them, the name of the brand, it's called Serious Steel. Serious Steel, Steel baby, serious. How serious are you about your steel, Mark? <laughs> Pretty serious, Todd. <laughs> okay, now what you're gonna wanna do is it's gonna be anchored to something that uh, is gonna hold you up. Don't want any injuries. All right, and what I like to do is to pull myself pretty far back where I can have all my weight going. Oh, Mark just cut out. He'll call me back. So I like to have all my weight away. Where I'm just balancing, I'm not fighting to, I mean, just go. It's challenging to, there he is, there he is. Man, you hanging up on me, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. You just trying to take a trying trying to take a break from this killer workout. Yeah, You're killing me. All right, let's so let's get away from the anchor point, right? And let's get your elbows into your body. Handle down low. So you have a low anchor point with the handle. Chest is proud, right? How you feeling? You feel like you have some good tension and you can really lean away from it all the way? Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly let your torso come to the boat or the anchor point and then let's go back into your stall position really slow. So you see my torso coming up. So you don't want to ski like this, do you? No. <laughs> yeah. So let's bring it back slowly. Let your upper body come a little bit more forward. Look how forward I am. Oh, okay. All right. Get your way. I don't want to go over. <laughs> All right, so you do that. Do a few of those, and then you switch sides. And while you're doing these, you can close your eyes and fantasize about the next time that you ski. Picture that perfect weight crossing position in your mind with your eyes closed, and then open your eyes and do it. Now I'm either fantasizing about that or the other thing, so. Don't be naughty, my heart. This is a kid, this is kid friendly. Really squeeze those elbows in. So, if you're a water skier, you know that once your elbows get away from your body, that it's a that it's a lose 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 situation. So keep those elbows in tight. Squeeze them into your vest. Get that chest up. And I try to keep my shoulders as well as my head pretty neutral or level. Will. And they can be level and still twist away from the boat a little bit. But I try not to go down with the the shoulder that's closest to where I'm going. I try not to get too far down because that tends to spike the uh, zero off or cruise control. And then that does this to me. Uh oh. All right, so we did a few of those. Now, let's, still with the handle, still in your slalom grip, okay? And we won't be too far away from the anchor point this time because we have a we have a thick band okay so 
what we want to do, and I'm going to have to do it, yeah, just micro movements. So keep the core totally engaged, totally engaged, really squeeze it tight, and think about this as just moving your core, like your belly button is just moving, it's just rotating a few inches, okay? So elbows in tight, your arms are just following your belly button. You hear, you hear my running? Because this shit is hard. Once you burn out on one side, go ahead and do the other. I'm in my slalom. You can do this in your slalom stance, or if you want to be like this. There's really no right or wrong. You've heard the term back arm pressure, back arm pressure. Well, you can think about this right here back arm pressure. My back arm. So, this is a move that will also help you or will aid in your edge change, okay? So, think of your position. As you come off the second wake, this arm, this right arm, I'm going, cutting to my right. Anchor point down low with that right elbow into the body. And just squeeze, just swipe, swipe rotation. Swipe, swipe, slight. Really push that handle down low. All right, that was good stuff. Let's do it quick. We've hit the shoulders a few times today, but let's do it again, why not? This is my purple series steel band. I'm gonna step through with one foot. You can do it with two foot and spread your legs if you want more tension, but I'm just going to go one foot. My thumbs are through it, arms are completely straight, elbows in tight, and let's rise up, Mark. Let's do this. Good. Keep moving. Let's go one minute as fast as you can. My heart rate right now is 143. Where are you at? All right, let's go. Full rest in one minute. Show up 146. 
face, but I feel like it's All right, all right, ding, ding, ding. We got client's choice. Client's choice to work out what you want to do next. Pick one exercise and let's do it. Tell me what to do. Uh, side shuffles. Side shuffles, oh yeah. You gotta have some side shuffle in your life. Let's go. Little sh shuffle, the curly shuffle, man. Or Five. Do you want me to pick up exercises again? <laughs> You want more? What? You want more than an hour? No, in fact, I got I, this is probably great news. It's gonna be uh, a shit show on the market today. Yeah. So. I need you to help me make some money during this, during these uh, tough times. Well, if you got some cash, you gotta get started getting ready to put some away because there's some great deals. All right, we'll talk more about this. I'm very interested. All right, buddy. I'm tired of being I'm tired of being poor. Alright, don't be poor.